Hello everybody, the city of Lake City is excited to welcome you back into another episode of Studio 106. Look who's back in the studio with me to save on Whitehead. So, you know, we had a couple weeks off for a food truck rodeo and a few other things we had going on at the city, but we're recharging Studio 106 now. Brand new guests, brand new information, brand new episodes. And so we got you here today to talk about what we can expect in the future for Lake City. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But before we do that, let's backtrack the food truck rodeo. Tell us all about it. Food Truck Rodeo, yes. So it was our second annual Food Truck Rodeo, and it was definitely a great success. We had over 10 different food trucks out there, so there was a lot of variety. We had some fantastic performances, and we also had me out there with the eSports, showing off the towers, teaching kids about eSports, so it was a lot of fun. Did you have the a big crowd for that? Actually, yes. I had one kid that literally was there from the start of the event until it was time to break down. Wow. Yeah, I kid you not. That kid was there all day. And no pun intended. No this, pun yeah. intended. <laughs> exactly. And uh, the performances that we had were fantastic. Uh, to kick off the show, we had City Soul, which is a local band here in Lake City. They did a great job. Yes, they did. We had Miguel Washington, a comedian, performing, and he did a wonderful job and then to close out the show we had ep which stands for epic proportion they did a phenomenal job they were a great band they closed out the show so overall food truck rodeo was a great success and it was it was amazing it was awesome and we're already planning for food truck rodeo for 2024 so stay tuned to our show because we hope to have some more information about that in the near future mm -hmm. so we're done talking about the past let's advance to the future the first event we got coming up in June is the Juneteenth Festival, mm -hmm. the Juneteenth Celebrations. And so it kicks off Thursday, June 15th with a meet and greet. Yes, yes. And that starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. Where is that going to be held at? It's going to be held at the Bean Market. Yes, it is. So now we go to Friday. By the way, that event is free and open to the public. Mm -hmm. Both of the following events we're about to talk about on Friday are ticketed events. We'll tell you more about where you can buy tickets in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But let's start with 11 a.m. and the uh, the Arabian Night Day Party. Exactly. Yep. 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. is the day party, and then it's 4 p.m. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Arabian Night Day Party, and that's going to be fun. But what's going to be even more fun will be that night. That night, indeed, that night is going to be legendary here in Lake City because we have the Miss Evelyn Champagne King performing. And that event starts at 7 p.m. and goes until 11 p.m. That's right. The Juneteenth Gala returns to Lake City. We're going to have uh, Mel Hamilton of the Black 14 mm -hmm. uh, football team. He's going to be speaking there. Dante Lewis is going to be providing us some jazz music throughout the night. And, of course, the... Evelyn Champagne King will be there live in concert that night as well. Again, tickets will be available on Eventbrite. You can also purchase them at the City Administration Building at 202 Kelly Street. I will give you some more information on that in just a moment with prices. So there's your two ticketed events on Friday. Now let's go to Saturday, which kicks off with a free event to the public, the parade. Yes, so we have the parade, which kicks off at 10 a.m. That lasts until 11 a.m. And at 11 a.m., we kick off with a brunch that will last until 4 p.m. That's right, and the brunch will be ticketed as well. The brunch will be held at the Rob, and I believe the parade will be going down Church Street. It will be, yep. You got that right. Okay, so now let's go to Sunday. And tell us a little bit about Gathering on the Green. Gathering on the Green will be starting at 10 a.m. and will last until... 11 a.m. 11 a.m. and will last until 1 p.m. Correct. Two hours, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's going to be like a... How would you describe it? Like a... Kind of like a church... Yeah, service. essentially, yeah. It's going to be a church of people gathering just to bring in the day, talking about the Holy Spirit, you know. It's going to be a good time for all you churchgoers. It's definitely something you would want to check out for sure. All right, so let's recap. The free events are the Community Meet and Greet, June 15th, mm -hmm. the Parade, June 17th, and Gathering on the Green, June 18th. Yep. Ticketed events are the Arabian Nights Day Party, June 16th, the Juneteenth Gala featuring Dante Lewis and Evelyn Champagne King on June 16th, and then June 17th, the uh, brunch. So tickets for that can be purchased on Eventbrite, or you can go to City Hall or City Administration Building at 202 Kelly Street, purchase your tickets 
Also, if you go to lakecitysc.gov, it will give you a direct link to where you can purchase your tickets online. Mm -hmm. So the Raby Nights Day Party is $10. The brunch is $15. General admission for Evelyn Champagne King begins at $40. We have a few packages available, which includes a VIP package, which will get you into all the city hosted events that weekend. Plus, a meet and greet with Evelyn Champagne King. Yes, 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 yes. You get to take a picture with her. That will be there for you forever. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so now let's jump to August. Your event, AgeCon. <clears throat> yes. AgeCon Anime Gaming Entertainment, which I am extremely excited for. It is the first convention being held here in Lake City. It is going to be August 18th and the 19th. It is going to be jam-packed with so much amazing things. Cosplay, tournaments, arcades, VR. We're going to be having special voice actors, voice actresses, a DJ, food trucks, what more can you possibly want? Again, it's August 18th and 19th. It'll be at the Rob. Tickets are available on Eventbrite. We'll have those available at City Hall, too. Tickets begin at $20. Mm -hmm. And then you can also buy a two-day pass. Or if you really wanted to go big, get a VIP pass for $50. VIP pass for $50, which comes with a lot of great things. Get an early access swag bag you also get a tournament pass if you want to go ahead and compete in the tournaments that will be there and it also comes with a special lanyard with an actual badge that you can show off to all the other people a great collector's item again that's august 18th and the 19th we'll be having another episode of studio 106 getting closer to it where you can go and dive in a little bit deeper into that again purchase your tickets today on eventbrite there's a qr code right there at the bottom of your screen also, tickets for that will be available at the City Administration Building at 202 Kelly Street. So now, before we talk about even more in the future, you and me have a brand new series coming out. Indeed. Well, actually, it's mostly just you. I'm the guy filming it. <laughs> but you're the, essentially the face of it. Tell everybody about what it is. Well, first off, first off, first off, first off. This was your idea, so I'm not going to take credit for your fantastic idea. But yes, we do have a new series, and that series is called Best in Lake City. So essentially, we decided to let the city decide on what they think is the best restaurant here in Lake City SC. And so the first episode is going to be Burgers. Which was, if you remember, our Studio 106 episode talking about the Food Truck Rodeo. What do you think about a burger? Well, I mean, when it comes to burgers, mm -hmm. there's a lot that comes with that. You have the consistency, you have the burger itself, the patty, the condiments. There's a lot of elements to a good burger. And as I like to say, if it ain't a good burger, I don't want it. And so you found a couple of those good burgers here in Lake City. Yes, yes. We won't tell you who will be featured on it. You have to watch and find that out. That'll be coming at the start of June, right here on the City of Lake City Facebook page and YouTube page. So you don't want to miss out. It's going to be a uh, semi-regular series. So it's going to, I think it's going to air like once every two months. And so the first episode is about burgers. We're going to be putting the voting out soon for episode two, which is going to be fried chicken. So stay tuned for that information because that'll be coming very soon. And without going into too much detail, let's talk about 2024. All right, now listen here, listen here. I can't be giving out all the goodies here that we're doing in Lake City SC, but I'll be nice, and I will tell you that 2024 is also jam-packed with a lot of events, returning events, and a brand new event that is going to be the first one that we're doing here in Lake City. And I'll be nice, and... It will be in July. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You're not getting any more information out of me. But July 2024, look for a new event that the city is going to be doing. And we are very excited to be having it. And Jonathan, mm -hmm. you're going to be excited for it as well. I think I will be excited for it a little bit. You know, you told me about what this is going to be a while back. So I'm very excited to hear about that. Like I said, more information about that and all of our other events, including Food Truck Rodeo. Next year's Juneteenth in AgeCon. Exactly. You know it. Um, I think the Masquerade Ball will be returning next year as well. Potentially. Potentially. 
Potentially. Can't can give you the can't give you all the details. Cannot confirm nor deny. Nope, nope, nope. As they say, I plead the fifth. As I, as they say. Very good. Like I said, lots of fun stuff coming to Lake City. And the best part is it's community events as well. So you're able to get involved. We want everybody to come out to it. And so we're looking forward to that. Again, Best in Lake City debuts early June. We don't have a date set in stone yet, but we will be posting teasers out. You just know, early June, Best in Lake City debuts on Facebook and YouTube. The very first episode, Best Burgers in Lake City. Mm-hmm. Which it, you, you admit, you had a good time filming that. I, I won't lie to you, it was fantastic. And definitely check that video out because... Jonathan here did a phenomenal job editing it, filming it. It was a lot of fun. I really would appreciate you guys to check it out, leave your feedback, because honestly, it wouldn't be possible without the people at home. Wouldn't be possible without them. That's right, because they voted on the restaurant. Exactly, exactly. We're doing this because of you guys. So, hey, mm-hmm. it was a good time. They definitely knew what they were talking about. Very good. Thank you for joining me in Studio 106 today. I know you're already planning your next visit. You know it. You know it. You can't keep me away. It's, it's always a good time here, Mr. Jonathan. I just have a great time all the time. Do you enjoy being on camera more? Do you enjoy sitting in the comfy chair more? <sighs> That's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to say both because I enjoy both. I like standing and I also enjoy sitting. You know, I get these comfy chairs, man. I love it. Well, anyway, we're going to have some brand new guests coming here in the next few weeks. Talk about some great projects they're working on. So stay tuned for that. We will see you next week for another episode of Studio 106.